So we're fine. Everything's <laughs> okay. Look at our temperatures right now. Uh, we're at 71 degrees. Um, and you know, Candace, I was trying to do a national tra a national map here. This is why it looks funny. Like that number so big. So what I've got to do is zoom it out. I'm not doing this to like, no, I'm not. <laughs> and for those of you watching at home, the, the technology of, um, of hand tracking is difficult. We practice a lot. Our new employees come on and we, we work really hard at it. And it's a way to interact with the map as opposed to going off screen and doing it. But 71 right now in Richmond. And so the temperature is back up here in the upper Midwest and into the Rockies. There, there's a sign of some chill. And what will be happening here is that that cool air is going to so slowly filter its way in, most notably with a cold front that's going to move through late in the day tomorrow. So it's not this one. This is the front that moved through yesterday that's sitting off the coast. It's another one back up here. That frontal boundary late in the day on Wednesday is going to produce for us a shower or a thunderstorm. So 86 for the high uh, today. The rain chance is there, but it's barely there. Nothing through the morning. In fact, the rain chance at three is quite low. It's had four. The rain chance kind of ticks up to about 10, maybe 20 percent. And, and that's what the radar might look like. I mean, that is barely there kind of stuff. So the vast majority of us have a dry day. And if it rains, I don't think it'll be a huge deal. Just a quick passing shower. Tomorrow may be a rumble of thunder. I've got the rain chance up to 40%. I might drop that down to 30%, but just a few late day storms. Not as hot tomorrow. This is going to be that last little frontal boundary, not last, but this little follow up frontal boundary that's going to produce, I think, a few scattered showers and rumbles of thunder. That looks like a lot. It'll be a lot less than that, and that'll happen late tomorrow, sometime in the 5 to 8 o'clock time frame. Behind that front, temperatures dip into the 70s, and the humidity goes way down. It's going to feel a bit more like early May or mid May uh, versus heading into the uh, end of last portion of the month. So today, a 20% shower chance. 40% chance late in the day on uh, tomorrow and tomorrow's high temperature back down to normal. The humidity just remarkably different than it was over the weekend. So instead of feeling like midsummer, it'll feel like spring here. 70s Thursday and Friday, we save a little money on air conditioning and we save a little, uh, you know, we save your energy as you're working or playing outside. This weekend looks great. Daytime highs at about 80 degrees, warming up into the mid 80s for Monday of next week. But the pattern gets a whole lot less hot and less stormy here um, over the next seven days. Back to Sarah. Okay, Andrew, thank you.